hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is roshan thomas and today we are going to create a web project java web project using servlet and jsp files that will perform a registration and login so for that we need a sql database you can use a sql server from microsoft or oracle sql or uh, i'm using a sam server i've already got it running and uh, and this is our database so we are going to create a new database so click on new here and uh, you need to name your database i'll name it as let's say portal portal is fine and click create here so your database is created go on create you a table inside so name the table i'll just name the table as registration and we'll be only needing three columns after that click go here after the table is created name your columns in first column it will be auto increment one so i'll name it as id and it will be int and uh, do nothing just go to your far right and uh, check the auto increment check box on this pop-up do nothing just click go here everything should be all right and the second column will name it as name okay it will be a war care and i'll give the length as 10 and the third column will be password obviously uh, which will be also a war care and i'll give it as 20 after everything is set up uh, we'll click save that should create our table so our table has been created with all the id name and password fields so we are done in the database section let's go to our id and start coding i'm using an eclipse id java ee so we'll go and create our new project go to file new and uh, click on dynamic web project so we'll name our project as say registration and uh, leave everything as default i already have a apache tomcat 8.0 setup here so click on next here and next and please check the generate web.xml web uh, box here we need to map the servlet here that's real necessary and after that click finish as our project has been created I'll go on add a mysql library here under web content web dot web dash inf in the library folder i will copy the mysql jar file here mysql connector so i'll provide the links for the in the description to download that and i'll paste it in the lib folder as you can see we have a mysql connector uh, indexed here right click on the connector and uh, go to build path add build path now it's ready and work so let's create our jsp file a registration form so under the web content folder right click new and create a jsp file so i'll name the jsp file as let's say registration as it will be a registration form and we'll click finish here so we have a basic template here so i'll pull in the form i'll pull the form there so our form is ready in our form i have a div with the align given as center and uh, phrase form with action registration registration is the servlet we are going to create i have not yet created and we have given a method as post we have three fields here input type text and name as user name i have given it as a name user and uh, i have given required as required and as password with the type password field name as password that is also required so we don't want our client to register uh, with empty box empty data so we want something to be entered here so that's why that's a precautionary method after that uh, submit button which for which i have given value as register so i'll save this and uh, let's try to run it on our server so i'll click the always use this server when running this project click next and let's run it it's starting for the first time so it may take some time don't worry so server has started running as you can see registration.jsp is running and we have username password and register button here now we need a servlet 
to process our data so under java resources and uh, in source we don't have anything so we'll create a new servlet click new and uh, servlet so we have created a package yet so i'll name the package as let's say jdbc and class name as as we gave in the action we'll give it as a registration so r capital see the same same so that should be perfectly correct and after that click finish so we have everything set up now so i simply clean the auto generated comments now we'll start coding so if you are a beginner java is case sensitive so correctly follow me and use the correct cases lower and upper you know uh, as per, as we are using so first we are going to use class dot for name so we should have suggestions class dot for name and uh, we need to name our driver driver package so com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver with d capital d in upper case we need to surround it with try catch so and that's done after that we are going to use our connection connection con equal to driver manager dot get connection so we need three arguments here argument one two three or let's say zero one two so first one will be our url database url second one will be our username database username and third one will be database password so url i'm gonna paste my url here so my url is there and after the port number you need to mention your name of the database so name of our database is portal username of our database is root as default and we do not have a password so leave it blank and we need to import the connection package so you don't you want to use this java.sql many people mistake to use this com.mysql.jdbc but we are going to we need the java.sql package so double click on that and we got it imported as you can see here got imported here after that we do have one more error so we need to surround it with try catch or uh, you can add a catch clause to the surrounding try so we have uh, another catch with the sql exception so after that we need to process the sql query first we'll create a sql query for that i'll store the sql query in a string let's say name the string as sql and so we are going to register into database so we need to insert the data so for that we need to fetch the data first so we'll fetch the data first and store it in a local variable so string let's say first data as name and we'll get the data using request parameter request dot get parameter and that will be name and same again string password equal to request dot get parameter and that will be password if you are thinking the attribute the attribute is same as the name here so sorry uh, we are given name here as user and the name as password so i gave the name as name here so change that to user so we the data is now passed to our particular servlet here now using request parameter the parameter and uh, now we need to use this data to create a sql query so sql query will be insert into table name 
we are connected to a database here portal and insert into table name our table name is registration and we need to mention that columns which we are going to enter as we are having three columns and we are only entering two datas one will be auto increment so we do not enter the data so we need to mention the particular column name so it will be name comma password after that we need to provide the values values under bracket inside bracket we'll dynamically input the values so we, we are putting in two question mark so here is our sql command and we will provide this inside our next statement so using prepared statement prepared statement equal to ps equal to using connection connection dot prepare statement and we are going to use sql as you can see here we are processing this particular string here and we need to assign value to these two question marks so using ps ps dot set string the first one first attribute will be parameter index so one and we'll give it as name second one will be ps dot set ring the parameter index will be two and it will be password so we have assigned the name and password to this particular question marks here after that we need to execute the statement so we'll use ps dot execute update semicolon so that should do after this we need to know if all these things are been executed we'll do is print out that we have successfully uh, registered so we'll use print writer here print writer out equal to response dot get writer semicolon using that we'll put out dot print ln we'll say you have success fully registered okay that looks fine so registration registration dot jsp will be passed to to registration servlet will be here and we need to map this in a web.xml file so in web.inf web -inf, we have a web.xml file so we need to particularly map this so here we have servlet tag inside servlet tag we need a servlet name we'll put the name as reg after that we have servlet class inside servlet class we need to mention our package name the name of our package is jdbc and dot our servlet name which is registration and we have servlet mapping tag inside that we need a servlet name tag which will be same as of our above servlet name and we need a url pattern which will be slash uh, a resembling name for our project let's say reg servlet okay so that should be all right now let's go to our registration.jsp page and try running it right click run as run on server and it should start running now so okay our page is online and uh, we'll enter let's say roshan and say password as qrt okay let's check if our page is running so i'll click on the register button here and uh, as you can see you are successfully registered but we need to know if the data has been entered so I'll click the browse button here and as you can see we have a new entry here roshan qwerty password 
so i'll try login again I'll refresh the page and say let's just say hello user and say one two three four five and click on register here so we have you are successfully registered let's check again click on browse here so we have hello user and one two three four five so as you can see guys we are successfully registered into the our database and um, in next video i'll show you how to log in uh, how to fetch the data from uh, how to fetch the data from the database and how to log in uh, using servlet and jsp so thank you for watching if you like this video please uh, hit the like button subscribe for more videos and uh, i'll catch you guys next time bye bye